Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Strangest Things Found by Deep Sea Divers Deep diving has been a practice for many years, and since the majority of life on Earth is aquatic when divers go exploring, they tend to find rare species and other bizarre things. It is said that only 3% of aquatic life has been explored by scientists. I don't know about you, but this doesn't sit well with me. In today's video, we focus on 10 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Stay tuned because number 7 will leave you speechless. Number 10. Animals Chained Up in Cages The island of Kokoya in Indonesia is every diver's dream destination for swimming and exploration. The weather is almost always beautiful and its waters boast a variety of sea life. On March 15, 2016, a group of divers' adventures were cut short when they met this unexpected discovery that left them heartbroken. Two dugongs were trapped and chained under the waters in the remote island. I know some of you are wondering what dugongs are. Let me enlighten you like I always do. Dugong is a rare sea creature from the manatee family of mammals. So why would anyone trap the helpless dugongs in a cage? According to sources, the fisherman behind the act was hoping to make a profit from tourists who would take pictures of the caged animals. So what do you think about the fisherman's act? Comment on this video in the comment section below. One of the divers who witnessed the chained dugongs claimed that the dugongs could have been trapped for several weeks as the ropes were worn and torn. They also suspect that the dugong was a mother and a child. Can you imagine? If you think divers are only interested in the fun of it, then think again. The divers told the fisherman to let the dugongs free, but he refused. They left the scene dissatisfied and took matters into their own hands by reporting it to the authorities. The next morning, the dugongs were rescued. Kudos to those divers. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Trucks and Tanks It is evident that trucks and other vehicles don't mix well with water. However, we have plenty of occasions when trucks, tanks, and normal cars have ended up completely submerged or at least partially sunken in the deep waters for various reasons. These abandoned trucks end up becoming popular sites for scuba divers around the world. I know it may seem crazy to you, but these trucks give divers some intriguing picture shots. Isn't it strange to see a pickup truck and big rigs picture sticking in unusual situations? Another beautiful place that is popular for divers is near Aqaba in the Red Sea off the coast of Jordan. It has colorful plants in addition to intriguing vehicles under the waters. A vintage army truck that was deliberately sunk in Dayhouse Quarry in Wales acts as a training ground for new divers and a playground for experienced divers. Isn't that interesting? Some underwater images clearly show that water takes long to change the appearance of a vehicle, providing an unusual home for both plant and animal life. Number 8. Titanic the Titanic ship has been underwater for more than 100 years, lying about 600 kilometers off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. It remains to be an area of great interest for divers and scientists around the world. What is surprising is that parts of the wreck are still in good conditions, while others have been lost to the sea. So is the Titanic returning to the environment? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Strong ocean current, salt corrosion, and metal-eating bacteria are attacking the former passenger ship that led to over 1,500 deaths when it sunk in 1912. The Titanic expedition was carried out by the same team that recently made the deepest ever plunge on the bottom of the Mariana Trench nearly 12 kilometers down the Pacific Ocean. However, navigating through the subwreck was a nightmare for the divers due to the bad weather. Number 7. Jesus Statue Close your eyes for a moment and imagine diving under the waters and stumbling upon Jesus' statue. You can now open your eyes. The life-sized bronze sculpture of Jesus Christ stands with arms outstretched towards heaven in a posture of invocation in the Mediterranean Sea between Camagli. This interesting sculpture attracts tourists who love scuba diving 
with some of them paying their respects to those who have lost their lives while researching under the sea. Legendary Italian diver Duilo Marcante is the brains behind the underwater sculpture. The idea came to his mind when he was mourning the death of his colleague, Dario Gonzotti, one of the pioneers of scuba diving who passed on during a dive in 1947. An interesting fact is that Pope Pius XII blessed the sculpture before it was placed at the bottom of the sea on August 22, 1954. Number 6. Oarfish The oarfish is the largest bony fish in the world and has a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records to prove it. According to sources, its measurements range from between 35 feet to 50 feet long. That's about 10.5 meters to 15 meters. That's quite long for a fish. What do you think? It's longer than some school buses. The oarfish is known by some people around the world as the ribbon fish because of its bright silvery coloration and long red fins. So why do you think this fish that are rare on the ocean surface prefer the deep waters as their preferred habitat? Think no further. They have very large eyes that they use to see in the extremely low light conditions of the deep parts of the ocean. You will only see them on the ocean surfaces, perhaps when they are dying. Oarfish are thought to be the source of sea serpent myths that are part of most maritime cultures around the world. Some observers report that oarfish discovered at the sea surface often swim with their head and ornate crown out of the water as if they are searching for something. Though the oarfish is assumed to be naturally rare, the difficulty of studying it in its preferred natural habitat has made scientists not have many facts on what the future holds for the fish. Number 5. Ancient Skull In September of 2006, explorers discovered the skull of an ancient female, now dubbed Chan Hole 3, in Mexico while mapping Yakata Cave. What's interesting is the fact that the experts dated the deposits to around 9900 years, meaning the woman was older. The skeleton also had tooth cavities indicating a high sugar diet. I didn't know skeletons retained cavities. Did you? Drop that sweet now! The woman's cause of death is unknown, but scientists who analyzed the skull claim that she suffered crater-like deformations that are likely caused by a bacterial infection like syphilis. According to history, nearly 10,000 years ago, the body of a young woman ended up in the dry cave south of Mexico. Her bones, discovered now by the divers, are revealing the clues of a short, hard life as well as history of the first Americans. Number 4. Sunken Plains Diving into a plane is something strange that divers have met over the years. It is believed that more than 150 planes lie in the bed of the oceans. Some of the planes discovered include American aircrafts, the TBF and TBM Avengers, Douglas SPD Dauntless Dive Bombers, and the F-4U Corsair. Among the divers who have witnessed this phenomenon include Brandy Mueller, a Coast Guard from Wisconsin who uncovered the fighter planes during a scuba dive. One would expect to find more sunken ships in the waters, but not planes as planes belong to the sky. So this is always a unique experience for the divers, as you can see in the photos taken by some of the divers. So what do you think of the pictures? Number 3. What would you do if you found gold coins deep in the ocean? Stay tuned to find out what one Zvika Feyer did living in the ancient Israel port town of Caesarea in Israel. Divers are daring and courageous and nothing could stop Feyer from diving deeper to investigate the shimmering object that he saw under the waters while exploring one day. As he drew closer, he thought the gleam was from a discarded sweet wrapper from chocolate coins. But as he swept the sand away and picked up the item, what he saw was unbelievable. It wasn't a piece of foil, neither was it a sweet wrapper. It was a real gold coin with Arabic script on both sides. The diver did an unbelievable act by alerting Caesarea officials who called the Israeli Antiques Authority IAA, and told them to come to the scene. A few days later, they went back and retrieved hundreds of coins. As of now, more than 2,000 coins have been found at the site. The coins that are 24 karat gold with a purity of upwards 95% for about a thousand years. Would you preserve your treasures under the waters?
And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. No, in general, no diver wants to come across a body in the water, especially if it represents a human's. But in this case, the picture doesn't represent a real man, but a statue created by Curtis Lahr in 2013. He invented this masterpiece of horror and dropped it in the water about 120 feet below in the popular diving site called Old Iron Ore Pit. The nerve-wracking sight of Voorhees trapped in chains with a machete in hand with wide eyes behind his hockey mask doesn't sound like a good idea. I don't know about you, but this doesn't sound like a fun idea, especially if you're not aware it's just a statue. It must have caused a lot of heart attacks for innocent divers. What do you guys think of this? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 1. Thrilled Shark This deep sea shark is nothing closer to any typical shark. It is a hybrid of a shark and a snake. Oh no! The shark has six gill slits on either side of its head, making it perfectly adapted for life in the abyss. Sources claim that it uses its senses to hunt for its prey along the seabeds, and when it does, it lunges at it like a snake. Oh my, divers, have you ever encountered this shark? With over 200 pin-sharp teeth designed to trap its prey, the victim has no chance of escaping. What's shocking is the fact that the frilled shark can even swallow a prey half its own size whole. What? How crazy is that? Thanks to technology that allows us to go deeper in the waters for longer, divers and scientists are making discoveries about this lesser shark and other species. In 2009, the South African frilled shark, Chlamydos lacus africana, was discovered. The frill shark is now a rare species, but can be found in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, in depths as shallow as 200 meters and as deep as 1500. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and have a wonderful day.